Hello guys, Keep Right On TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes, 100 likes, and also, if you haven't been subscribing to the channel the past 28 days, make sure to smash that subscribe button, it would, it would do me an absolutely enormous favour. So um, yeah, in today's video, we're going to be bringing you guys the match preview for Swan, sorry, I'm, out, I'm a bit out of breath, um, Swansea City versus Birmingham City this Saturday, 3 o'clock kickoff. Blues are back, the championship is back, and of course, it's the start of a new era for Blues, and it's going to be starting off with a trip to Swansea. Um, we've sold out as well, great away following as usual from the Birmingham City um, fans. So yeah, let's get straight into, into the preview. We're going to be starting off with Swansea City first. Now, Swansea City, of course... Um, had a up and down season last season. I mean, halfway about halfway through the season last season, there was like, we was like seventeenth, and I, I believe I believe they was like it might have been like the start of January. Um, they was um, like literally um a couple of places um, I think there was a couple of places below us um mid January, um they had a terrible start to the season and they picked up, but they just fell short of those playoff places. Of course, their manager as well went to Southampton, Russell Martin. They've got Michael Duff now as their new manager. They've brought in there's some business, um, some of business so far. They brought in Jerry Yates from Blackpool, who, um, yeah, I think he's a decent striker. I mean, he got more goals than Scott Hogan last season, and Blackpool finished twenty third. They brought in um, Josh Ginnelly from Hearts, a, um, a left winger, free transfer. They brought in Josh Key from Exeter City. And they brought in um, a Brighton goalkeeper, Carl Rushworth, um, on a season long loan. Um, a lo yeah, season long loan, sorry. And they brought in uh, a Ukrainian uh, centre forward, which, for my own sake, I'm not going to be trying to pronounce that, to be fair. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, the last time we played Swansea, of course, it was a 4 3 victory. Austin Trusty scoring in the last minute to win us the game. And um, obviously, Sadly, we're not going to be having Austin Trusty this season, of course, because he's been he's going to um, be going to Sheffield United uh, for about five million pounds. Also, as well, uh, Swansea City have their um, they have their badge back, that old badge. Of course, the last couple of seasons they had like a completely different badge to the one that they usually have, which I do I do prefer the the badge that Swansea have now. But anyway, getting on to Birmingham City, of course, um, our first game, like I said, under the Tom Wagner. Um, regime uh, away to Swansea City and we tend to do well don't we on the first game of the season we haven't lost on the opening day since 2017 that was a 1-0 loss to Ipswich under Harry Redknapp so yeah the lineup I would start for this game I would go with a 4-2-3-1 formation I would start Ruddy in between sticks I would have Sanderson and Long as the two centre-backs now Ethan Laird there's reports saying that he might miss the game Saturday so I'm going to have to go with Oakley or Williams as the right back. The left back, um, Lee uh, Buchanan. Um, I don't want to be seeing Longello starting ahead of him. Even though um, Lee uh, Buchanan was um, not uh, not even in the squad for the game against Peterborough, I still think he, he should be available, shouldn't he? We signed him like over a week ago now. So yeah, the midfielders, I would go with Bielik and Jordan James. I think Jordan James deserves... Um, to start uh, Saturday, you know, his pre-season performances were very, um, you know, very good. Scored a couple of goals as well, great goals. And um, I would have uh, Tyler Roberts in that number 10 role. And uh, Mayashi, I don't think he's going to be available for this game. So I would have um, Dembele and Keshi Anderson on each wings. And then I would have Lukas Jukovic up top. And the reason why I would have Lukas Jukovic up top is that, um, you know, we've actually got wingers now that can actually cross a ball, you know, so... He's gonna get service, Zukovic, and um, if he's free, if he's free in the box and on marks, then you know his trademark. He's good at them trademark headers, isn't he? So my prediction: first game of the season, Swansea versus Birmingham City. Like I said, our record on the opening day is actually really good. We beat them four three last season. Um, I, I don't think there's gonna be seven goals in the game, um, this Saturday. I'm gonna go with. Swansea 1, Birmingham City 2, I think we'll get an away win on the opening day of the season and that will be a catalyst um, catalyst for our season because, you know, on the well, 
I say that, but on the opening day we've won before, haven't we? Like we beat Sheffield United one 0 away from home, and then just went all went all pear shaped. The same with Brentford as well. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know your score predictions. Are you going to the game? So on and so forth. Anyways, I'm gonna keep on on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching as always. Keep on.